This is the second part of the homework solutions for day 7. This is section 3.4, the bolded problems. We're going to start with number 11, which is adding two mixed numbers. And one thing I want you to realize with mixed numbers is it's really just um, a whole number plus a fraction. So here we have 11 plus 1 third plus 2 plus 5 sixths. And if I were to combine the whole numbers, 11 and 2, I would have 13 as my whole number. Then I need to handle the fractions, and I'm adding 1 third and 5 sixths. This is a case where one of the denominators is a multiple of the other. So I have 3 goes into 6, two times. So to get 3 to 6, I have to multiply it by 2. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So now I have 13 plus 2 times 1 is 2 over 6, 2 times 3, plus 5 over 6. Uh, 13 plus 2 plus 5 is 7. That's 7 sixths. I can convert 7 sixths into 1 and 1 sixth. So my total for this would be 13 plus 1 plus 1 sixth or 14 and 1 sixth. And again, I took it apart into a whole number and a fraction. The whole numbers were easy to deal with. The fractions I had to turn into like terms. We have a similar problem here. It's set up vertically as opposed to horizontally. I'm going to do the same thing here and think about this as 1 plus 5 eighths and 1 plus 3 fourths. I'm adding. I'm going to combine my whole numbers and have 2. Here I have to work with the fractions, so I have 5 eighths and plus 3 fourths. Now, again, I'm going to look at my denominators. 8 is a multiple of 4, so I have to adjust the 4 to bring it to 8. To make 4 into 8, I multiply by 2. What I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So 3 fourths is the same as 6 eighths. And we have 5 eighths. And we have our 2 from up here. So I have 2 plus 5 eighths plus 6 eighths is 2 plus 11 eighths. Oh no, we have an improper fraction, so we have to clean that up. So that's the same as 2 plus 8 goes into 11 one time with 3 over 8 left over. So my total for this is 3 and 3 eighths. The next set of questions on another piece of paper. Here we have number 45. This is slightly different than what we were working with before because we have a whole number with no fractions and most importantly it's a subtraction problem. So I need to do a couple of things here before I can really get to work. First I have to look at this fraction and realize that the denominator here is fourths. So that means I have to break this up into 8 or 7 plus 1 and 7 plus 1 in fractions would be 4 fourths. Okay? Minus 1 and 3 fourths. So let's look at the whole numbers first. 7 minus 1, 7 minus 1 is 6, and 4 fourths minus 3 fourths equals 1 fourth. So my answer is 6 and 1 fourth. Here we have another subtraction problem. Uh, these are both mixed numbers. One is in fourths and one is in thirds. Um, 
one of the things I'd like to do before I work with the whole numbers for this is to get the fractions to be the same. 4 is not a multiple of 3, and 3 is not a multiple of 4, but they do have 12 in common. So let's see what happens now. To get 4 to turn into 12, I have to multiply it by 3. What I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. 3 times 1 is 3, so I have 4 and 3 twelfths minus 2 and to turn 1 third into 12 to get 3 to turn into 12 I multiply it by 4 and what I do to the bottom I must do to the top so this is 2 and 1 times 4 is 4 now I have a problem because I can't subtract 4 twelfths from 3 twelfths, so I have to borrow something from this. So remember, I could rewrite this as 3 plus 1 plus 3 twelfths minus 2 plus 4 twelfths. I'm going to turn this 1 into a fraction, so I have 3 plus 12 over 12 I use 12s because I have one there, plus 3 over 12, minus 2, plus 4 over 12. So let's see what this turned into. Now it's 3 and 15 twelfths, minus 2 and 4 twelfths. So let's work with our whole numbers first, 3 and 2. 3 minus 2 equals 1. 15 twelfths minus 4 twelfths equals 11 twelfths. So the answer to this is 1 and 11 twelfths. And that is the end of the problems for section 3.4, which is the day 7 bolded problems. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.